When people think of a culture along the Nile in, the, in ancient times, I think they just think of, the, of ancient Egypt. But we're in Sudan. Right. There was a major ancient civilization here, urban, literate, powerful kings that controlled a vast empire in the 8th century, bigger than any empire that had ever been on the Nile before. And here we are, standing in front of pyramids of these kings, 2,000 kilometers south of the pyramids of Egypt. This is Nuri, a royal cemetery containing pyramids for 20 kings and 54 queens of the Nubian kingdom known as Kush. We climbed the ruined side of the pyramid belonging to Taharqa, the greatest of all Kushite pharaohs, who not only ruled Sudan, but the whole of Egypt as well. What an epic view. This is spectacular. Yeah. This is what some um, historians recently and writers have called the Black Pharaohs. Yeah. This is a culture and a civilization distinct and different at some times in its history to, to the civilization further down the Nile but in Egypt. See, but, but they were closely related. They shared the same religion. They honored the same gods. The, the Kushites believed that the Egyptian gods were here in the, in the Kushite form, in the Nubian forms. Because there's this overwhelming focus on the civilization of ancient Egypt, it, it wouldn't be unnatural for Egyptians, modern Egyptians, to think, well, we've been here for thousands of years. This is our culture, this is our land, this is our river as well. But the fact we are standing on a pyramid here in northern Sudan, built by people whose descendants may still live around us now, I have a feeling that that gives them some sort of historical, more legitimate claim to the land and the water and the space. It does, you know, but, but there's a funny thing that I noticed in Cairo, and that is that on the facade of the Cairo Museum, the only dynasty that isn't named is the 25th dynasty. And that was? The dynasty of Kush, which ruled them. So they're The dynasty of the Nubian kings from here. cut it out. Some archaeologists in the late 19th and early 20th centuries refused to accept that a black African civilization could have achieved what it did. They said the people here must have been lighter skinned, maybe Libyans, maybe even early Europeans. It's racism. <laughs> 